hey what's up guys wrg we're in a video and i have a very cool product for you guys today this is from a company called twad t-w-o-d and they have a very budget-friendly rifle scope that they offer i mean i'm talking literally 32.99 with a coupon on amazon i'll leave links below so you guys can check it out but it's supposed to be a very good optic for the price they have over 150 reviews on amazon so it should be pretty cool let's unbox it check it out also i will be taking it to the range and doing a full review on it out in the field so make sure you stay tuned for that and like share subscribe if you enjoy these kind of videos so let's check it out let's see everything we got here so this this particular set does come with rings and all the accessories so speaking of which here they are you also get an eye shade and a sunshade for the scope so I'm just going to do a brief unboxing and then basically I want to take it out to the field and see what this guy is really capable of. But if it's half as good as the reviews say they are for the money, you know, I don't think you could really go wrong with this one. And it is illuminated. So illuminated reticle, so you guys are aware. This is how it look. And the magnification on this, it's a six by 24 by 55 millimeter, just so you guys are aware. So let's set this down one second. And let's see, lastly, what else comes in the box. So here's your eye shade and then your sunshade here. So there it is. As you can see, it'd probably just screw right in. Yeah, pretty simple, self-explanatory. And then your eye shade here. So I'm still debating which rifle I want to put this on to take it out today, but we'll see. I guess it'll be a surprise. You guys will find out in a few minutes. And here's the eye shade. So it's like a rubber piece as you guys can see there. So I definitely have to go through the mounting process. I'll burn through that. And then you guys will catch me on the range and we'll do some performance testing on it. These are also the instructions. You guys check that out. Have some zeroing, but it should be pretty cool. I'm very excited to see how it performs, especially for, I mean, literally 30 something bucks. Should be pretty interesting to find out. So let's go to the range, test it out and see how it does. Okay, so I'm about to do the install process. I just want to point out in the rings, we have here like a soft material, almost like a tape that they place so that the rings gets knitted nice and snug with no lapping needed. So here I have the scope so I permanently attached so I can make some adjustments and such. And you can hear, I really like this, it's very audible, the click here. Not sure if you guys can hear that, but they are very click and positive, which I really like. I'm gonna see if I can give you a view of what we're seeing here. There it is. So now you guys can get an idea of what the reticle looks like. So sighting it in just took me five shots. So really wasn't bad, at least for 25 yards. So to give a tour of the scope, in the <coughs> you adjust your parallax here. As you guys can see there, I have it for 75. I was actually just able to sight it in at 75 yards from 25 in just two shots. So it's very accurate in my opinion. So there you have your elevation, and there you have your windage. I really haven't had any issues and for the price, I really cannot complain anything. Magnification, I have it set to 24 right now. And it looks like a pretty clear picture. I actually don't have any issues looking through it right now. So here you see the battery compartment for your illuminated reticle. Honestly, I don't need that right now because it's very bright outside. It's definitely something good to have. So the manufacturer does claim this product to also be waterproof, which is pretty cool. And definitely good. You have your ring caps here, so you can definitely cover up. But obviously now that I'm making adjustments, I don't have it on. The ammo I'm shooting today is PMC. So this is a 762 by 51. It is 147 grain, 308. Okay, so it actually just took me two shots to adjust it from the 25 yard to the 75 yard line. So this is my first shot, made some adjustments and I'm right on. So now I just push it back to 100 yards from 75 yards, see how we do. So now that I moved my target back to 100 yards, all I have to do is adjust my parallax. 
here. So just adjust it to 100 and it should be good to go. I'm also sliding in with the magnification all the way up so 24 times. And so far so good. Okay, so 100 yards didn't do bad, pretty much all on the black, but definitely could use some adjustments. Now I'm gonna do some real precision shooting, hopefully, with a new target I'm add on. I mean, you were literally paying close, close to $30. Right now, I think they have a coupon on Amazon, which brings it down to about 30 bucks. So check out the links below so you guys can check that out. But honestly, for a budget build, you cannot get anything better, in my opinion, that I'm aware of. Literally, I, at the range, people were astonished that this rifle scope costs 30 bucks, around 30 bucks. So, I mean, pretty good build. You got a good magnification. Looks pretty clear at 100 yards. I was able to maintain zero pretty well. On a 308, this is the SCAR Heavy, in case you guys are not aware. So that in and of itself is a pretty good test. It's water resistant, anti-frog, illuminated reticle. I didn't really use that too much because, you know, it's the middle of the day out there. But, you know, a pretty good option to have if you ever needed it. You have an etched in reticle in the lens. So that's in black, already ready to go came with the rings but just to organize things this was one group this is another group probably my best group right here five shots originally the four were here this is a big group here and then this was just a mess on this side but all in all it went pretty well pretty happy i mean it's pretty good can't really complain i'm just shooting ball ammo it's not mesh ammo so you know can't really test it too hard but overall it did pretty well so pretty happy with the scope overall so now I'm going to try the optic on my Daniel Defense dm 4 v 5 right here, which is 5.56, which I think might be more appropriate for this type of scope. 0 is actually pretty harsh. So we'll see how it works and see how many rounds it takes me to zero it out. So from 50 yards, you could tell that it didn't take much to zero it in. This is my last group, three shots. So I'm pretty much good to go. So it looks like a storm's coming, but we try to finish this off. I'm at 100 yards now. We'll see how it does. Okay, so now I'm at 100 yards. I'm gonna finish sighting it in, and I have green tip ammo. I'm gonna be shooting now. 62 grain, 5.56. Let's see my lights. I think it's probably ideal for a 5.56 or maybe smaller calibers. Because on the 308, obviously, it's intended to be as strong, has a big recoil, and the scar is actually known to tear up scopes. So luckily, this baby survived, which is a really good test in and of itself. I mean, it survived the 308. I think I shot at least like 40 rounds through it. Now I did the 556. I was able to hold zero well, and I'm very happy with the performance. As you guys saw, it shot pretty well. So I think this scope is probably ideal for 556 or any smaller calibers than that. But I'm very happy with it. I'm actually going to keep it on here for a little bit. I'm kind of sad to let my aim point go. But I'm going to keep this on here. I like having the magnification. It's definitely something different for me. So if you guys are just looking to get into the market, I highly recommend this scope. I just recommended it to a few friends of mine recently. I called them up and I told them that this thing is really a high value for the money for sure. So pretty cool. You know, you guys saw the group. You saw it performed. It really maintained its zero pretty well. Specifically with the 5.56, I'm not so sure with the 308. My groups were not that great. 
but you know that could have been me shooting not too sure i'd have to have more experience with it to know for, for a fact so as you guys might be able to tell it did rain so i was able to get my target so first group was up here these three shots I made an adjustment a little too much this is my second group third group was right here and then fourth group was pretty much on so this is with 62 grain 556 at 100 yards and then third group was down here so with bomb munition it's pretty respectable and obviously i was able to keep my point of aim point of impact with this scope but that's pretty much it links down below so check it out let me know what you guys think down in the comments thanks for watching please like share subscribe check out my b channel which is mindset and tactics and also check me out on patreon thanks for watching again see you guys next time wrg out